So we're going to do one final factor, and that is we want the top facing normals to have a different color than the rest of the color on the normal map. So we're actually going to have uh, three color values that we can interpret uh, on this rock, which will add for some really nice uh, local color richness once we have it added to the scene. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to do, I'm going to type in world aligned blend. And uh, there's no spaces for this. That's another thing to keep in mind too, is uh, if you're typing out a word or anything like that in the UE4 material editor, uh, don't bother with spaces and it'll find it for you. So this is the world aligned blend node. And if I actually go to this and open it up, you're going to see a pretty complicated bit of math here, interpreting what exactly is going on with the uh, what's calculating to get everything to uh, interpret different normal values for the top facing faces. But we don't really need to know any of that. We just know that this node works and we're just going to use it, not question it, and use it as a great automative tool to uh, drive our values and let us focus on the artistic elements. So I'm going to hit down the one key two times to get two single parameter values. And I'm going to create actually one parameter value, and I'm going to do name this blend sharp. I'm going to put that default value at five. I'm going to plug this into the blend sharpness. And this one, I'm not going to create a parameter, but I'm going to give it a value of negative one. And I'm going to plug this into the blend bias. And with this setup here, I'm just going to create the alpha here. I'm going to create one more uh, linear interpret node here. I'm going to plug in the alpha here. I'm going to take the end result of our color that we have here. I'm going to plug it into the A. I'm going to take uh, this tint here. I'm just going to control C, control V. I'm going to bring this up here. I'm going to name this top tint and give it a nice uh, neon green so we can make sure it's working, that we can see it. And I'm going to plug this into the B. Then I'm going to take the final result of that and I'm going to plug it into the base color here and I'm going to compile. And so you can see now we have this uh, top covered effect going on. And what's really, really nice about this is that it's interpreting all the normal map data and it's taking it into account. So you can see all these awesome intricate little details going on here with all these differences in the normal map. And the world align blend node is picking up on that. So like all these little details here, you can see like this would take forever to do by hand from a texture standpoint, but it's procedurally being done by this node, which is a really, really awesome feature it has. So I'm gonna go really quick into here and get something that's a little less neon. Go into top tint here. And for now, I'm just gonna change it to snow. And the other thing that's so amazing about this is if I grab this asset and I rotate it, it's updating where the top layer of the snow is going to go. You can see that there. And that is really cool where you can see that you don't have to repaint or realign um, where the top of the snow is going to go. You can just set dress this rock to your heart's content, just knowing that that's all going to get covered on the top with snow, no matter what you do to it. So it's a very, very powerful tool that if you had to paint this all by hand, it would take days to get this amount of intricate detail.